Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. I want to go to the Dover Transport Museum. Fancy doing a video there for my Tudor Travels channel. So I'm at Folkestone at the moment. So it's a case of getting from Park Farm to Dover or top of Whitfield, basically. I could do the reverse route that I did in one of the previous videos, which is the Ockham Valley, but what I'm going to do is avoid the A20, the dual carriageway, and we're going to go up through Capel La Fern and then drop down into Dover that way and then out through Dover to get to Whitfield to the Transport Museum. Could be a long one, it might even be a 20 minutes to 30 minutes, but we'll see how it goes. It's just another video for the channel and actually, you know, another opportunity to look for hazards and awareness and people who don't indicate. I might start awarding prizes, although I do give raspberries, don't I, on a frequent basis. It's a lovely day for a drive. Yeah, if you're into old motor memorabilia and cars and things I will um, put a link to the video that I make for the Dover Transport Museum up on the top left there so um, yeah head on over if you fancy following me on that walkabout anyway so the plan is up Dover Hill into Cape Le Fern drop down into Dover with a view of the castle yeah, it could be good. To my right, indicate off the roundabout, the white van didn't indicate, the Nissan didn't indicate, because they're immune, <laughs> immune to indicators or allergic to indicators, who could say, is there such a thing? I suppose I wonder if people think, well, I'm going straight across so I don't need to indicate, you know, kind of treating it as a straight line. Both cars still didn't indicate off the roundabout. But it's the rules. You've got to abide by the rules, haven't you? I'll get my 40 mile an hour groove on. yards before the road narrows <laughs> he's not gonna let me in is he but I'm in the mood for speed <laughs> I'm only doing 40 but it seems like a lot faster and it's a lot of fun <laughs> it was a slow lane guys doing 30 up the hill Cape Le Fern, which is a 40 all the way through till you get to the end, then the national speed limit hits.
nice clear road. Carrot Junction. almost tempted to join the dual carriageway when I get to the roundabout head only because it's a lovely day do I change my mind do I go through old Dover town or do I just drop down onto the um, dual carriageway I think I'll do the dual carriageway you know just because it's a bit quicker but equally with this beautiful sky we get a chance to see the sea which we won't do if we head down into Dover. I'll save that for a rainy day. Not literally. so I could only assume he was coming round. I want to slap some people, I really do. I was wondering, just on my last video, it came to me, how many of us would actually pass our test if we had to retake it, you know? And I think we should treat every drive that we're doing as if we're on our test. So get your alerts and your awareness heightened. You're approaching a junction, you're, you're on a slip road, you're turning right. Is there anybody coming from your right before you join? Are your indicators on? And all of that stuff on the roundabouts indicate everywhere. I'm not a driving instructor. People have asked me, do you do driving lessons? <laughs> I suppose if you wanted to bung me some quids, I might sit in your car with you take you out but you know until I do such a thing as advanced driver training and whatever it is you do to become a driving instructor you're reliant on me as a normal driver you know like the rest of us but that doesn't mean we forget everything we've been taught we have to continually I'm in a rant mode now I'm off to um, Scandinavia in October with my son. We're going to drive from... We're taking the ferry over to Calais. Then we're going to drive up through Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, into Sweden. Um, and I'm staying with my sister, so that's, you know, cheap. But equally, we're also doing two days in Oslo, so we'll be driving up early morning spend the day in Oslo um, we've booked an Airbnb for 47 quid something like that <laughs> stop the shit cheaper than the hotels isn't it and then we'll drive back to Sweden on the Sunday and I said to my son who's the driving instructor by the way and we're taking his car rather than my old Volvo and um, I said I'm going to bring all my camera gear because I might want to do some driving videos. Because <laughs> we were originally taking my car anyway, and he said, no, well, let's take mine. It's more economical. I said, yeah, let's do it. But I'm on his insurance as a driver anyway. 
because it's a driving school, right? So anyone drive his car as long as he says so. Anyway, we're approaching... Oh, yeah, so what I was saying is, because I'm doing Scandinavia and Europe, I might see if I can get some videos out. That will be good. Driving off the ferry at Calais. From Calais to Belgium. How long does that take? 20 minutes? <laughs> right, so we're going to go along the, um, the seafront here. Up Jubilee Way. Get up that way. So if ever there was a reason to subscribe to the channel, do it now so that you can get alert notifications of my trips to Europe. That should be good. Yeah, so subscribe and hit the notification bell. You know you want to. Roundabout to stop people coming down from the A2. Normally, when they've got Operation Brock and it goes all the way up the A20, if you came down the A2, down Jubilee Way, round the roundabout, you could join the queue here and skip all the um, Operation Brock, but they put the um, roundabout block there. That beautiful castle. I love it when we've got the sun and the blue sky. It just highlights all the brickwork. Built in the 1100s. I'm sure it's been maintained over the centuries, but it still looks astonishing for nearly a thousand year old castle. 60 years, not 80 years off a thousand. those old discoveries, that one in front of me. Anybody got any experience with them? Are they roadworthy? Do, do they break down a lot? I know they're kind of old now, but I love the shape. It's really grown on me. Might replace my Volvo one day. Upgrade to something like that. I see myself in one of them. That's what you have to do, isn't it? You have to see yourself in one. There's the ferries. That'll be me in October. I'm excited. <laughs> Lights are changing. Yeah, so we're doing ferry over. It'll be like a 7 a.m. ferry ride. Because it's supposed to be 15 hours drive to Sweden. But coming back, we're coming back th via... We'll leave the Monday morning and we're going via Hamburg. So if you follow me on my main channel where I do Beatles, I'm going to do a vlog of the Beatles in Hamburg. That will be good. Head over to my main channel and subscribe if you like the Beatles. And then we're staying in Bruges for the night. That cost us 67 quid in an Airbnb. It's all good stuff and then we get the next ferry back on the Tuesday morning or Tuesday evening, whenever it is it's booked. So I've got a lot of things planned. It's really exciting, both for my main channel and for my um, driving channel and my Tudor Travels channel. Wondered what this truck was doing. It was staying in the outside lane and not increasing his speed. Welcome to England. <laughs> As if I wasn't already. <laughs> well, welcome or in England.
So we've got kind of like a two lane because it's a crawler lane. Oh, it looks like we've got some congestion up here. That's not a good thing. I might have to do some editing of the video. Chop, chop, stop, start, stop, start. We'll leave it all in because it's all part of driving, isn't it? Because I've got a big, huge white van in front of me, or camper or minibus, I cannot see what's going on ahead. I have no idea. I'm going to transition from here up to the roundabout. And you're back in the room, <laughs> or back in the car. Look at this, it's all clear. I have no idea why that was all congested. Bizarre, eh? And then we all slide off. It's very easy to get distracted when you're stuck in traffic like that, especially when you're in the car by yourself. Because my mind was wandering on more agreeable things than traffic jams. Someone racing up behind me, hoping to squeeze in, but they can't. So I'll just have to let them slide in behind me. People forget, or maybe they're not familiar with the roads, but it's not dual carriageway all the way along on the A2. If you're watching the videos, give the video a like for me, a little exercise. I'm trying to work out, you know, is it viewing numbers that make the videos viral? Is it likes? Is it comments? Even a comment. Drop me a comment and let me know where you're viewing from. And drop me a comment if you want a request. Drop me a comment if you want to just see driving, but not my face up in the corner there. And no talking, just a driving video, maybe with some music. Let me know what you like, and I will try and accommodate. What am I now, 703 subscribers on this channel? I've, I've matched the viewing hours that are required, which is 4,000 viewing hours in a year. Um, so I've got that in the bag. I just need 297 more subscribers. National speed limit, let's get up to 70. The French boy moved in, but realised that he had to move out. There's a car coming off the slip road. I'm going left at the roundabout ahead, so I'm going to get into this lane. So yeah, I'll just keep plugging away at the videos and eventually I'll hit a thousand subscribers, which is the first big milestone. And you know what? Sometimes it's one of those crazy, crazy things that if you don't ask, you don't get. So if I'm asking you, please hit the subscribe button, then I think I've done all I can. My viewing numbers are astonishing. Loads of people watch. Something like, in fact, I'll put it on the screen. Um, in the last 28 days, this is the percentage of number of people. This is the percentage of people who have viewed the videos but are not subscribed. Imagine every viewing I got, somebody subscribed, if you're not already subscribed. Sorry, harping on about it, but what are you going to do? It's the life of a YouTube vlogger. into Whitfield. Damn this Sunday traffic. Why is it why is it so busy? I'm leaving this footage in because this is this is normal. You know when you're doing driving you might get all bunged up in traffic. Where it stop start stop start. I'm going left at this roundabout. Car to my right. Clear to my right. Right at this 
roundabouts are getting this lane. Port zone, it says. Because we're going to the Dover Transport Museum. <laughs> I fancy vlogging in there. I did. I visited there a couple of months ago, and I asked them at the, at the time, "What's your policy on photography and or videoing?" And the, she said, um, "The guy said, oh, we welcome it. Do it. Do it. Because it helps them advertise the place. If I do a video about the place, right? I'm assuming it's open." And it is open today, Dover Transport Museum. Lots of old cars. Oh, this is going to be exciting. So I'll park up, we'll finish the Drive With Care video. If you are at all interested in this old kind of stuff, then you might want to consider looking at the other video that I will put out. Convenient place to stop and park as long as someone doesn't block me in that was it for what it was worth that was Folkestone to Dover um, I was via Cape Hildefern I wasn't I was I should have gone the old road I said I was going to but you make these snap decisions don't you so um, thanks for watching and bearing with and I'll see you in another video bye for now drive with care